Hello guys, welcome back to you man Jack in the middle. Thank you guys for joining me for another episode of Rivals Daily. All right, so pretty much today we're just going to revamp ourselves with race and rivals, see what's going on in the game and um, catch up to speed with, you know, the updates and what's new and and how the game is functioning or whatnot. So the first thing we just saw is that the game is still glitching a little bit. Every now and then your garage does disappear and you have to restart the game because you can't select a car or even the car that you're supposed to actually be in. All right, so, but right now we're back in the game and here we have, um, we're looking at, this is the news as you come in, this is the headlines saying that there's a new shipments in the, in the shipyard. Pretty much that's been here a little while, but um, for anybody who's joined us for the first time, um, then, you know, we have racing, not racing rivals, but fast and furious crates available to us. What's new is the gold crates we just passed by and then new for this week. Every week we, we get refreshed performance crates that you, that's on your screen now. And this week is um, the RX-8. So yesterday was the Ford battle and I did participate in the Ford battle and it was that's very interesting. We're going to touch on that a little bit later on, but upcoming year, we're going to have a few other events. I think Free For All was the event going on for today. And then um, we have a few other events, but we'll pass through that one more time. So um, nothing in the update section. The first thing we're going to do, I think we're going to go over to the shipyard. No, actually... We're going to touch on Racer Showdown right now. So yes, today is free for all. This is the first place prize here. All right. Now, I used to do Racer Showdown a lot because you, you, you would get good rewards for Racer Showdown. But check this out, guys. Today I did it, and I'm, I don't even remember what place I came in, but all I remember is there was no bronze crate. So you used to get bronze crate if you were like the top 5,000 or something like that, you would get yourself a bronze crate. No more, guys. They, they change it up. So 3,000 to 5,000, you only get 20 gems, $10,000, um, one boost, and uh, I believe two performance crates. You know, and um, so we're just going through the list here, 600 to 1,240 gems, um you know 1500 uh you know and I, I i don't i don't know guys 40 gems you know we're gonna we're gonna have to go in and we're gonna give it a test right we're gonna give it a test so 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 all right so i think i'm gonna scroll back to number one and then we're gonna come back down because this is basically i believe if you have to get within 600 before you start getting your bronze crates again so excuse me so that's number one there number two is um 200 gold 200 gems <laughs> i'm moving so fast through this um the long and short of it guys i think i'm done with with, with race or showdown because it's just not paying out any uh, very much anymore you have to use booster racer showdown racer showdown costs the gems and you know um so you're not you know you uh, you just have to put in too much work i think i'm i'm, I'm not that big of a racer you know it's like they're locking out the noobs i i, I don't know you know, um, and so we're going to have to see when Turf War comes around. We're going to have to do another update video to see how the prizes are going in Turf Wars also. Because Turf Wars used to give out some decent prize if you if you basically place within the top 3,000 also, or it was a top 2,000. So, you know, um, not sure anymore how that is going. So Gold Crate stops at the top 160, apparently. All right, I, I caught that much. Um, so basically, I, I think this is where right there between um, I went through fast, but it says 50 gems. So I, I think for uh, 80 pack of boosts, I, I'm I, you know I'm gonna have to do all of this. I, 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 I'm like basically rewatching the video with you guys right now and commenting afterwards and and. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, is is just basically new ideas are coming to me, new thinking of all right, how what can I do next? Anyway, so let me keep up with the video. So what we're gonna try to do now is preview some of these cars. Now the first one works for us previewing. Um, I think they call it Johnny's Johnny's S two thousand. I'm gonna have to remember to to um to edit these videos a little bit more. I can't be um like s swiping the the screen like I am here because um. It, it seems to go out of focus like it just did right there when um when, when I rotate the screen. So I'm gonna have to like keep the make sure I put the the car whatever we're trying to display in a in a still position and then focus in on it first and you know make sure it sits there. It it doesn't um when I'm actually making the video I don't I don't see the blur myself but then you know that there 
the recorder actually does that. So the game froze us, froze on us again right here, and so we're gonna actually um we're actually gonna back out and we're gonna have to restart the game again. So when we come back, we're gonna we're gonna actually still look at the crates. However, now here we are, we're back. We're um but we're just gonna look at it from the outside. So up next is um Mia Supra. That was dumb glass charger we're trying to we're trying to see. Um Mia Supra. I thought that I always thought that was Don Supra. Dom's Crew Civic. And then they have here a sky blue. I, I want to get that sky blue underglow for myself personally. Um, Jesse's beloved Jesse, um, Volkswagen Jetta. Remember Jesse from the first Fast and Furious. And I thought that was um it says Mia's Eclipse. I thought that was 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 what's his name? E Eclipse. The 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 the, the um the star, you know, everybody knows. What's, what's that guy's name? Um, <laughs> I can't. His name is slipping me right now. All right, but um, so, but they have some nice wheels, some nice paint in there. I right? unfortunately, I don't. I'm not balling like that, so I usually don't open crates like that. So right, this is the performance crates. I'm just gonna scroll through it real fast, um, just in case there's anybody new to the channel, new to racing rivals. This is what our performance crates, and you get these crates. Every day you have a chance to get at least two, and you see if you participate in some other events, you get more chances at getting crates. So we're going to go over to the gold crates. This is new refresh, so everybody could check this out. Um, they're giving you the B-Sport wheels there. Um, the McLaren 570S, I would love to get my hands on something like that. The Dime Racing um, Hurricane, I think that's a well-coveted car. All right, we have another um, a wrapped McLaren S, the Lotus Spirit. Oh, no, we missed another one there. I think it was a, a Starion, if I'm not mistaken, a Mitsubishi Starion. Some nice wheels to go with it, a matte light blue, and uh, Spearmint. Now, per personally, I, I think Racing Rivals should do a little bit better with some of the items that they give away in cer certain crates, you know, because um, the, the I, some of the some of the paints and some of the wheels switch between crates sometimes, and I just I don't think it's fair. If you get if a if a wheel is considered gold wheel, keep it in the gold crates only, and you know don't switch it back and forth. People feel cheated. All right, so here we're going through the bronze crates. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit behind. So we're up to the um the Ford Street Edition Toyota Celica 2000 GT. Some nice exclusive wheels. You know, root beer flake <laughs> um, and matte black. All right, so nothing too exciting going on there. All right, so um, yeah, so so I'm I'm sorry, I kind of ramble and miss my place a little bit. What we're gonna do right now, actually, um, I wanted to show you when I made the video, I was uh, I I again I was a little bit confused. I, I was looking at turf wars because I realized that they changed the thing. All right, so let me keep up with the video. Here we're gonna see what they um. What the events are so it's free for all tomorrow is front wheel drive and then c class only which actually helps us out for turf wars because here turf war is d class front wheel drive c class rear wheel drive and then jdm extravaganza so the very next thing we're going to do right now i'm going to scroll over to my um pickup car this is the car i use when i'm doing trades uh, to pick up the um, pick up the cars in so we're rolling scrolling to the garage gonna jump in my stock honda civic i suggest everybody has a stock d-class car that doesn't cost a lot of money in case when you're doing a train you know you don't get scammed for something nice so all right so guys pay attention to this this person that's challenging me here that is my second account anybody that wants to do a trade with me Nine out of ten, if you want a car, it's going to have to come from that second account. If the car is in my main account, which is Jackal 13 CF right now, it's, it's probably a car that's a collectible and I'm not going to be willing to let go of it. So screenshot that name if you are on a tablet or on your phone. Pause the video and write that name down. Another fast car. Um, and that's the garage you want to scroll through and check to see if there's a... It is a big garage. I'll go ahead and warn you right now. Uh, you know, but uh, that will be the garage you need to look through to see if there's a car there that you would like to trade for. If you see a car set up in my in Jackal 13 CF already, that pretty much is like that car is a collectible and that car is not for trade. All right, so sticking with the video real quick, there's something I want to show you here, but um, it might take a little few seconds. Basically, I want to show you guys how to back out of the screen. For any of you guys that's doing trading, switching cars but back and forth between your accounts, the game has a tendency to get stuck sometimes when you come out here on track. And, um, you know, a game has a tendency to, to get stuck. So I'm going to show you guys how to basically 
a guaranteed way, just like how you see we, we, we froze in the beginning, the garage went missing. We froze on um, when we were trying to preview the car. Pretty much going to show you guys how to not get frozen trying to get back to your garage. If you if you do in the top left corner, I think it is, if you hit map, it takes you to the map and then back to the garage. What you want to do is hit your friends, the friends list, and then jump straight to garage from there. And that usually won't, um, will, will um, avoid you guys freezing up on your way back to the garage and having to restart your game. All right, so here we are back in the garage. I'm just going to go in and jump over to the next car that i am going to use basically what i'm showing you guys is i'm getting ready for turf this this weekend and so we're going to bring you some turfing action so so these two cars here i, I need to detune this i was actually making sure that the car was ready for 1650 but that's the music we're about to get out of here thank you guys if you guys like the video please smash that like button if you're new to the channel please subscribe um i want to thank you guys for joining me today you guys be blessed you guys take it easy i'll catch you in the next one bye bye